In 1967, the first album of the American band The Doors turned its lead singer, Jim Morrison, into an international star. The album was a massive global hit. Back then, things moved fast. It spread like wildfire. Four years and six albums later, The Doors had become one of the most influential rock bands and would introduce a new and irresistible sound to music. A Doors phenomenon started to establish itself. Ray Manzarek, Robbie Krieger, John Densmore, and of course, Jim Morrison, the focus of the increasing popularity of The Doors. He was an American star in keeping with the tradition of sexy stars. A free-spirited idol adored by millions of fans. An artist who was much more than a rock star. Sam, he was a poet, a troubadour, a modern-day troubadour. Jim was able to bring atmosphere that just absolutely astonished everybody. But history would take a dramatic twist. In the early hours of July the 3rd, 1971, at the age of 27, Jim Morrison died in Paris in tragic circumstances that have long been shrouded in mystery. 50 years after his passing, we look back at the last months, the last days of an icon, who by crossing the Atlantic, hoped to change the course of his life. 